from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas Eve so far. Futurecast kind of shows you what I was talking about when I say some showers possible, especially along the coast and west of I-5. Not particularly widespread, not very intense, but if you see some sprinkles through today and maybe into tonight and maybe into the early hours of tomorrow morning, don't say I didn't warn you. You kind of see what I'm talking about over the next 12 to 24 hours. Just that kind of meandering sprinkly mess. It's not enough to make any accumulation or anything like that. Definitely no flooding threat or anything like that, but you know, a few showers are possible, so we'll have to keep an eye on that here as a little jet of uh, impulse of jet air kind of inches into the North State, for lack of a better term. And even still, by tomorrow afternoon, you can see it's really just the I 5 corridor and points west that have the issues with that rain. And even still, they're not that big of a deal, right? I think, if anything, we can deal with these showers. I think the better rain chances across the North State that comes as we head into Wednesday, Tuesday, looking actually fairly decent in the big picture. Now, Wednesday, that's what I was talking about here. This next system's coming in from the coast. We actually start to see some snow levels creeping down about 4,500 feet. I think if there's any shot at accumulating snow in the higher elevations, that's coming there Wednesday. You see what I'm talking about there, that 4,500 to 5,000 foot mark. So we'd be talking Mount Shasta City with the possibility of some precipitation there. We'd have to keep an eye on it, of course, out towards Modoc and Alturas out there. So we have this kind of more active pattern starting to creep into the North State and really into the Northern Hemisphere as a whole, right? I mean, we're definitely subject to that. You kind of see we have high pressure down here. Systems are trying to push in. They kind of get a little weaker before they can fully push themselves into the North State. So we're not seeing them maximize their potential, so to speak, but it's still definitely an active pattern that we need to keep an eye on in the extended term. More Arctic air is going to be creeping into the United States here soon. And we'll be at the front of that. So we'll keep a very close eye and see how that evolves over the next seven to 10 days. I'll tell you this much, colder air definitely does seem to be coming into the North State here as we head into this time frame. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on that. I think right now, the main issues here just some scattered rain throughout the week and maybe some snow in the higher elevations. You see the wave heights yesterday, they were in the double digits as we headed through today and this morning. They lowered just a little bit, but we're right back where we were. Check it out, 12 feet, 14 foot. Yeah, all right, so we're not doing too great out there. You know, yesterday we had that small craft advisory. Wouldn't shock me to see this extended a little bit more, especially as these higher wave heights, uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 nautical miles off the coast, push a little bit closer as the waves start to get stirred up a little bit. So definitely, uh, like I say, I like this word, a little bit rambunctious. As for the highs today, widespread, 50s there. Across the area, I think we're gonna be dealing with 50s, right? Along the valley, 50s, maybe near 60. Siskiyou, Monarch County in the East Mountains, I think we're gonna be staying suppressed there at the 40s. Now, seven day forecast, big picture here. Through today, 50s, through tomorrow, Christmas day, 50s there as well. Same for Modoc County out towards Susanville, similar situation there. To be honest with you, any of those showers across the area for the next several hours will be very brief, very weak. Don't think that's going to be a big deal. And to be honest with you, Modoc County and the Alturas area out towards Susanville as well, I don't think you'll see them to be honest. Wednesday, next shot at a decent widespread rain there. That's out of here pretty quickly. Tuesday, actually not looking too bad either. There's those snow levels though at 4,500 feet, so we'll have to watch that there. Now, along the valley, similar to Mount Shasta, and Alturas. I don't think the shower chances are particularly high over the next couple days. Widespread cloud cover will be the defining feature of the next several days. Widespread upper 50s as well. And then there's those next rain chances towards the midweek there. Now I think the best chances of rain, as is typical, is along the coast, right? Now as we head through the next several days, that's where you would expect to see those rain chances. Sunday and Monday, Christmas Eve, today and tomorrow for Christmas Day. Yeah, I cannot rule out the possibility of some pretty decent showers on and off throughout the day, but all in all, I think we've seen worse, right? We've definitely seen, you know, blizzards. We've seen heavy rainfall this time of year in some of the spots. So we'll take what we can get, that's for sure. Hope you had a fantastic day so far. Go ahead and continue to enjoy your holiday weekend. Take it easy.